It's a firm that was founded five years ago and today its revenues have gone up to almost a hundred million dollars. We're talking about Pune and Silicon Valley headquartered Pubmatic. So we all caught up with founder Rajiv Goyal for this exclusive chat. Rajiv Goyal is the founder of Pubmatic, today a hundred million dollar startup born and built out of Silicon Valley and Pune. Pubmatic is a self-site platform which helps publishers monetize their inventory by providing them with a dashboard which helps them extract maximum value for every ad spot. With the host of the globe's leading publishers on the platform, Pubmatic has emerged as the undoubted leader in the self-site platform space. We caught up with Rajiv Goyal and started the interview by asking him to explain the value a sell-side platform like Pubmatic provides to its publishers. Pubmatic helps publishers realize the full potential of their digital assets. And specifically what we've done is create the world's largest independent platform for real-time advertising. So we work with many of the largest publishers in the world, Zynga, MSNBC, TV Guide, HuffingtonPost.com. And we help them place the right ad in front of the right user at the right moment in time in order to provide the most relevant ad to the user and maximize their revenues. Rajiv, the story for Amar and Rajiv Goyal actually started, the entrepreneurial journey started uh, with Chipshot.com, right? And uh, it's a great story because it's one many of our viewers can learn from. Why don't you take us through the Chipshot journey and what you guys would like to do out there? Sure. Uh, so as you mentioned, Amar, my, my brother, uh, he, he founded Chipshot and, and I was one of his co-founders. Uh, and we actually started it uh, earlier than 2000, in 1996. Uh, and the, the business model there was custom-built golf equipment direct over the web. So think of Dell meets golf. Uh, and we grew that business to over 200 employees and over 30 million in, in revenue run rate. Uh, and of course, we learned some some uh, uh, interesting lessons in the 2000 2001 .com, uh, bust. Sure. So, what really happened there, Rajiv? Uh, uh, the the dot com bust affected you in a way in which uh, you didn't quite uh, anticipate it to. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I think the biggest challenge is that we did not right size the business sure. uh, given the the difficulty of the 2000 2001. Uh, uh, market and so we ended up selling the selling the company, uh, but not for I think the the full uh, value or the full potential of the business uh, because we were uh, in a position where we had to had to sell it ahead of really its its maturity or ahead of its time. So Rajiv, uh, learnings and experiences from there, and that that didn't quite deter you from going ahead and and putting on the entrepreneurial cap again. That's right. So, you know, having done that, uh, what I decided to do is use the next six or seven years of my career as a boot camp. So I spent four years in, in IT strategy consulting, selling to CIOs and CFOs of Fortune 1000 companies. And then I spent a couple of years at SAP in marketing, uh, bringing all of their new products to market in, in North America. And so I really used that, that uh, first startup uh, experience and then those subsequent two experiences as a, as a way to build out uh, my entrepreneurial portfolio, uh, which then led me to, to found Pubmatic in, in the fall of 2006, again with, uh, with Amar Goel and, and two of my co-founders who are based here in India. So how did the Pubmatic journey really play out? Where did the idea really come from? Yeah, so, you know, the idea really came from uh, Amr's and my working on a couple of uh, content websites. We were actually dabbling as being publishers ourselves. And we discovered this huge challenge from a monetization perspective, which is dozens, hundreds of ad networks out there, uh, but no systems, no platform, no technology really to help me as a publisher uh, figure out which ad network to run, how do I find the highest paying ad, how do I make the most money as a publisher. And so we built Pumatic as a real-time platform in order to solve exactly these challenges. Rajiv, take us through the Pubmatic business model. So essentially, you reach out to publishers across America, strong focus in America and globally as well. Um, the publishers use the Pubmatic platform to analyze uh, how their inventory is doing across the various ad networks. Um, where, where exactly do you guys, do you folks make money? So what is the revenue model like? Sure, absolutely. So our, our revenue model, uh, as you mentioned, is publisher focused. So we so. charge publishers uh, a fee. It's a SaaS or subscription-like fee based on the value of the inventory that we monetize for them. So, for example, a publisher may give us a million dollars of media value to manage in a, in a given month, and we'll charge them a fee for that. In addition to, to working with publishers, we also work with the demand side of the ecosystem, the ad networks, the ad exchanges, the demand side platforms. And there we've also built significant technology and services to 
help them find the median audience that they need in order to fulfill their campaigns. So Raji, it's very interesting times in the internet world, right? And uh, you mentioned how uh, internet usage is increasing. You mentioned how uh, pub publisher in inventory monetization is also increasing. And also now we have uh, the new mobile internet world also gaining tremendous traction. You folks recently made an acquisition in Pune, uh, That's right. Mobi Promo, right? That's right. Uh, take us through the reasons behind that acquisition and where... Uh, is um, Pubmatic's mobile strategy going? Yeah, absolutely. So what we see from a publisher perspective, right, and again, the publisher is our core customer, is that more and more of their consumption, more and more of their usage is coming from the mobile audience. So from Pubmatic's perspective, we've been working on our mobile platform for well over a year now. We launched mobile real-time bidding uh, last fall. Uh, we now support uh, mobile advertising on the Android platform, the Apple uh, Internet Operating System, iOS platform. Uh, and so mobile is, is a key way that we help our publishers, again, take, uh, uh, realize the full potential of their digital assets. So Raji, just looking back into the Pubmatic journey, now you moved from zero employees to 275 employees, right? Uh, Revenue is rumored to be pegged at about $100 million. Uh, uh, what are, have been the key points of inflection for you over the last um, uh, close to a decade now within the Pubmatic journey? The first was really to launch the first version of the platform. You have to keep in mind that we created uh, what's now called the sell-side platform category. So there was nobody else in, in the space at the time. Once we did that and we took those learnings and rolled that back into the platform, then came the monetization phase. And in that phase, what we were focused on is proving out the, the value that we provided to publishers and figuring out what's the right way uh, to charge them for that and to build a sustainable business that they could bet on for the long term. Uh, and then about two and a half to three years ago, we really focused on the scale out uh, part of the aspect. So having proved the platform, having proved the revenue model, now, now we're focused much more on how do we build that as quickly as we possibly could. So that involved uh, things such as acquisitions, as you mentioned. Moby Primo was our second acquisition. International expansion, we now operate in, in seven, uh, seven offices, half a dozen countries around the globe, uh, and then really just in, in adding to the team and building deeper and deeper customer relationships. Rajiv, three rounds of venture funding so far, so you guys uh, clearly know how to play the venture capital game. Mm -hmm. uh, all they must be looking at an exit at some point of time. So it's a question you must be getting very often. Uh, uh, what are the plans for Pubmatic to go IPO? Yeah, so uh, you know, we, we last raised a, a round about two years ago. Uh, and our focus really is in building a fantastic, standalone, profitable business. And I think we, we've achieved that. Uh, and, and so now, from an exit perspective, we're really in, in no rush uh, to get to an exit. I, I think you know, most, most uh, students of the U.S. IPO markets would say that those markets are opening up. Uh, and our focus really is in, in building as, as great a business as possible. Uh, and I think when the, when the timing is right, we look forward to evaluating the, the opportunity to be a public company. Rajiv, take us through some of your numbers. You mentioned uh, 275 employees. Uh, what are numbers can you share with us to, to tell, tell us uh, how Bumatic has grown over the last three years? You know, as you mentioned, 275 uh, employees. Sure. We see over 400 million uh, unique users per month on our platform. Sure. You know, in comparison, Facebook has somewhere in the order of seven to 800 million users uh, yeah. on a global basis. Uh, we process well over 30 billion uh, monthly ad impressions, uh, all available uh, in real time. Sure. Uh, we operate out of four data centers around the globe. Right. Uh, and then uh, from a revenue perspective, uh, we've grown revenue over 30x just in the last two years. Okay. Uh, and so as I mentioned earlier, we, we last did a fundraise a little over two years ago. Sure. And so I think that, that tells you, given the growth uh, and, and the, the distance between now, uh, now and that last fundraise, mm -hmm. kind of the, the financial trajectory that we're on. Uh, what have been some of the key challenges? Because uh, in, at some level, it was a, a path-breaking product which has really disrupted the, the online ad world. Uh, did you see traction for it right up front? Did you see acceptance for the product right up front? Yeah, so in fact, you know, we did not see traction uh, and acceptance for it right up front. So a large part of what we had to do was evangelism. Sure. So going out and talking with publishers, showing them how an automated real-time platform uh, was better than the alternative solutions that they were working with. Innovation uh, is oftentimes looked at uh, not so fondly sure. uh, by other players in the space uh, or by uh, even by users because they just don't understand it. Right. And so you really have to uh, have that vision uh, and stick to that vision and, and spend time uh, evangelizing with the right people in order to, to gain that traction. Product is, uh, is now established in the market. You're a leader in the sell side platform space. What is the technology team at Pubmatic really working on? So what's, uh, what's next over the one or two year horizon from a technology perspective and a product perspective at Pubmatic? Absolutely. So we talked a little bit about video. So that's sure. a, a key part of the focus. Sure. Uh, sorry, mobile rather. Uh, video is, a, is another part of our focus. Uh, and then taking our, our real-time platform capabilities 
deeper and generating more and more insights. So you can imagine uh, in processing four to five terabytes of data uh, on a daily basis, there's a lot of data uh, that, we, that we generate and that we have uh, access to. And mining that data uh, in order to find signal from all of the noise is, uh, is a growing challenge. You learned a number of lessons both from your chipshot journey uh, to um, uh, the pubmatic journey. Are there learnings from the chipshot journey that you've imbibed into um, the uh, pubmatic journey and what can you share with us? I think the first is you have to have a, a vision uh, and you have to stick to that. Uh, the second thing you have to do is uh, move quickly. So I assume at any given point in time, if I have an idea that there are five other equally smart, if not smarter, people around the globe that have had that same idea and they're actually already working on it, yeah. right? And so that means you, you not only got to have the right vision, uh, but you have to move quickly in executing it. Uh, and then I think the third is you have to stay flexible. Rajiv, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sudhir.